how does it feel to be part of uh, Auckland City Football Club? Great. It's probably I was probably the biggest achievement I've had as a footballer. And when I first signed, I was really, really happy and looked forward to playing for Auckland City. It's the way they play and yeah. that's what, how I want to play. Yeah. And, and Louis, for yourself, uh, you've been around uh, some of the ASB Premiership clubs. You've had one or two yeah. opportunities in pre-season. Now, possibly a bigger opportunity yeah. uh, with Tamadi Williams being away. What are your thoughts ahead of uh, the weekend? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm quite nervous because Team Wellington are going to be one of the better sides in the competition. They've got some good players and it's always difficult to go down there and get results, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure that we'll be able to do a job. Mm. Now, uh, this is an open question for both of you. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of really good players, experienced players. The club's got uh, a pretty good history. How have the older players welcomed you into the environment uh, and what have your experiences been? Me, personally, I f um, first training with Auckland City, um, Pritch, I had a word with Pritch before we actually started training and he, um, he's he been a real big help to me and especially um, Riera before he left, I learned a lot from him being a midfielder as well but all the older members have definitely made it easier to fit in and learn a lot of them. Mm. Yeah, for me, uh, Tamadi's been a big a big help. I, kn I knew him a few years back from Forest Hill, I was number two to to him at Forest Hill, so he's always been, um, I've known him quite well for a long time, so mm -hmm. yeah, he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. uh, who are your favourite players, domestically and internationally? Domest I've, seen your, I've seen your profile <laughs> on your website, it's quite interesting. <laughs> domestically, um, I definitely would say Albert. Um, I didn't really know him that well before I came here and playing with him, that just great player on the ball and technically and probably internationally it's got to be Paul Scholes the way he just mm. he's just class love him yeah so I take it you're a Manchester United uh, yeah there you go okay Louis um, probably for me Danny Robinson and Tamadi I can't they're two of the best goalkeepers I've ever worked with uh, both are great for me um, and internationally probably Steven Gerrard and I would take it you're a Liverpool supporter yeah. from that response. <laughs> Is there any uh, banter between you guys based on, on that derby match that swings around? Uh, there is a bit. Yeah. Sometimes we'll watch the games together and yeah. um, whoever comes out on top is, gives it large. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Speaking of uh, banter and giving it large, what's the experience like in that regard with, with Auckland City? Do you have to be on your toes? Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, a couple of, there's a couple of characters in the in the dressing room that like to give nicknames, this and that. Yeah, but, sexy um, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely have to be on your toes, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you set personal targets uh, as within the team collective objectives for the season? Personally, for ourselves? Mm. Um, yeah. As um, For me, um, I just want to be trying to get my name on a squad sheet each week week in week out and hopefully go to Morocco mm -hmm. and hopefully if I do get game time do as well as I can and mm -hmm. make, start making a name for myself mm. yeah I mean, so I just need to get trying to want to get as many games as I can um, it's always just good to be in the in, in the squad every week as well so I'm just glad to be involved mm. as a goalkeeper psychologically it's it's quite a challenge I mean uh, with, with outfield players there's 10 positions with a goalkeeper only one yeah. can start how do you approach that uh challenge uh yeah it's difficult you just got to be ready um every game i mean yeah you just got to be ready for anything to happen something could go wrong mm. at any minute in the game so you just kind of got to be switched on as much as possible and that is quite hard mm. Mm. sam uh we can't avoid it uh you scored a cracking goal out uh here at cuba tear street against the wellington phoenix that must have been uh some moment for you personally it was certainly a great moment for the club although it was a pre-season game yeah and nah, um I was just happy, first of all, just to come on and play against the Phoenix. Obviously, the best team or the highest team I've ever played against. And to score a goal like that and it to be the winner and in the last stages of the game was just something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to score that winner in the last minutes. But, yeah, it was just crazy. After that, did, did the uh, team sort of bring you down to size? Did they try and keep it in perspective for you? Yeah, um... Ramon had a little word with me just to keep my feet on the floor but I think um, I was never going to be keep like I know it was just a pre-season game and um, it's, I think it was good for me to get that so it made people think mm -hmm. but um, yeah nah the, I definitely wasn't going to go walking around mm -hmm. at City Trainers but 